Hey there, in this video I'm just going to show you how you can put borders around your images. Um, different effects you can do with borders. And the idea behind this is from Jai, one of my subscribers. So you might want to check out his uh, MySpace account. He has some cool music there you can listen to. And I have already featured him in a previous video of mine. So anyway. So he actually asked me if I can make full page borders on a MySpace account. Unfortunately, um, I'm not really good at making layouts. I'm still learning. So um, if I am able to do that, I'm going to make a video about it. But for now, I'm just going to teach you how you can make some borders around images. Simplest way of doing this is just by passing your image or background to our Decker filter. So go to filters, then Decker, then add border. So this should pop up. Put in your sizes, choose your color, and hit OK. And that is how you can quickly make or add your border to your particular background or image. It's pretty boring, I know, and that is one way of doing this. Okay, now we're gonna make some glass borders. So go to your layers window, hitting Control L, and then duplicate your image or your background, like so. So on your background copy, you select your rectangle select tool from your tools and then you oh we're basically going to define our borders so I'm just going to use this like so and then we go to select and then hit invert now we go to filter and we're gonna pass our border to a Gaussian Blur filter. So go to Filters, then Blur, then Gaussian Blur, and then um, define your blur radius. I'm gonna go with uh, 50. Alright. Or maybe 100. So it's really up to you on how frosted your glass would be. Hit OK for size 5. There we are. And then we're going to go to our layers window again. This time we create another layer. So I'm just going to go with glass. So hit OK. And then you go to glass. And then we go to our fill tool from our tools. And you select your color, so it will depend on what color your glass would be. So I'm gonna go with light blue. Hit OK, and I'm going to color my border like so. All right. Now we go to our layers window again. This time we're going to switch our mode to soft light like so. So as you can see, um, it looks like a glass now, but um, it really depends on you on how you want it to appear. So you can change the opacity, like so. And if you're satisfied, then there is your glass border. So it really depends on you on what color on um, how blurry or how blurred your border would be and um, this is basically a frosted glass look for your border so here's another way of adding a border to your image or background okay with our last border I'll be using a supernova filter and I had um, 
got this idea from Slow Cory too, who had asked me about GIMP, so I'll be using um, this filter. So again, with my wallpaper, you go to your tools and grab your rectangle select tool to define your border, which I already did. Go to select and hit invert as well. And if you're done with that, you open your layers window and then duplicate our layers. So it depends on you on how fast or how slow your animation would look like. So you duplicate it about 10 times or so. At least that's what I did. So if you're done duplicating that, um, you hide all your layers except your first layer. So you select your first layer, make it visible, and we're going to pass this to our supernova filter. So go to filters, and then light and shadow, and then go to supernova. Like so. And then, if you're happy with your settings, you can change the radius, the spokes, the color. I'm going to go with red. And then position it at the edge of your image. So I'm going to go here. And here. So if you're happy with your position and your settings, just hit OK. It should look like this one. So if you're happy with that, we go to our layers window again. And then we're going to hide our current layer. We go up a notch and to our second layer, make that visible, and we're going to pass this to our supernova filter again. So we go to filters and then we show supernova. quicker access and then we're basically going to move it across our border like so so you can also change the color if you want to but I'm gonna stick with red and then if you're happy with your settings hit OK and it should look like uh, this one so if you're happy with that we go back to our layers window. We hide our current layer and then we go up another layer and then make that visible and the same thing we're going to pass it to our supernova filter. So the idea behind this is to um, pass our supernova all around our edges. So make sure it moves around the edges in each layer that we have. So if you're done with that, you go to file and then save as whatever your file name and save it as a GIF animation. And if you're done with that, it should look like this one, which I had already created, by the way. And there you go, an animated border done with the supernova filter. So you could experiment with a lot of filters, a lot of techniques with GIMP in creating your own borders. Um, you can use these borders as web page borders, signature borders if you're participating in a forum or so, and also as image frames. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video. To all my subscribers, thanks for the sub. Please check out my other videos and my YouTube partners on my channel. And as always, have fun. See ya.